Why should students know what their personal brand is? What the heck does that even mean? Stay tuned. Okay, so today in class, they're working on their project, but I had like a 10 minute reflection for them to do. This is what I want uh, a lot of you guys to, to maybe ask your students. And that is, what is your personal brand? What do you stand for? And then I had two follow-up questions. What are you doing daily that would make you realize that that is your personal brand? Or now that you're aware of it, what are you gonna start doing daily? I had Jacob here ask me, he's like, I don't know. When I had asked, asked you this question, what went through your mind? Uh, well, I mean, what do I stand for? What do I want to do? Uh, what is it that people think of when they hear Jacob Hoffman? And so when I said, you know, what do you consistently do that would point to that? A lot of people are like, I, I don't consistently do. Because mm -hmm. some people are like, I stand for, I'm a really nice person. I'm like, okay, what do you do on a daily basis? Well, I mean, like once a year, I volunteer for my church. And while that's great, I wanted them to start thinking about what is your daily actions look like? What do people start saying about you? What kind of a, a brand do you start having for yourself? What did you come up with? Uh, I'm really into film, so I want to be able to have uh, filming associated with me. And so, yeah. Building, building that <laughs> yeah, brand. building a film. So therefore, on a daily basis, you must do what? create film or get the word out that hey I'm a filmmaker and if you want a movie talk to me okay there you go so too often times our students think that just because they've done something once or twice that is what they stand for and while I definitely don't disagree with that in part it is better when our brand is consistent you know, I, I, I want to, without a doubt, brand what we do at this school. I want to brand what Started Up does, and I'm doing so on a consistent basis by working with teachers and students. And when a lot of our students, like Jacob today, I had them refocus. Okay, what are some of my daily habits? So I'm wanting my students to realize that just swiping on their phone all day every day isn't necessarily productive. And by you, and when you said like start making film, you can't make film every day. No, but that's what would what I be said. what would be an accomplishable task that would point you to your brand? Uh, I said going out on social media and saying, "Hey, I'm working on this project. It should be done in the next week or so." Okay. So probably a video every like week or two. Yes. Uh, definitely a, a good one quality. Yeah. Uh, and uh, going reaching out to other like short businesses or clubs in the school saying, hey, if you want a short film describing your thing or whatever you want, talk to me. Awesome, so he's identifying, so it wasn't just films, like marketing your things. Advertising. Advertising and like getting other people to see if they want to collaborate, potential collaborators like this. Anyway, this is why I love this activity. It uh, forces students to realize that their daily actions feed into their brand and just saying you believe in something if that action is pointless. Tell them everybody where they can find you. Uh, I'm on uh, Twitter and YouTube at Jacob underscore Hoffman. That's so YouTube and Twitter, that's about Jacob it. Jacob underscore Hoffman. All right, there you go. Pretty good. So my question to you is please list in the comments below. Do you? What is your brand as a teacher, as a parent, as a student watching this? And what do you do on a daily basis that would make me realize that is your brand? Other than that, this is Don Wetrick reminding you again that opportunities are everywhere. We'll see you tomorrow.